Real estate and focus, low mortgage and unemployment rates should be the formula for a thriving housing market, but the opposite is actually happening. Many Americans are still having a hard time buying a home. Joining me now, Rogers Healy and Associates, real estate owner Rogers Healy. What are some of what's happening here, Rogers? Well, I mean, first of all, it's not it's not having a negative effect on the real estate market. It's got people talking again. But something that people do not mention whenever we talk about the decrease in rates is the time of year that they go and decrease them. And so obviously the job market is continuing to thrive. People are still really happy in America, but the wages have not caught up yet with the prices of these properties. And on top of that, something that never gets mentioned are the cycles of leases. People normally renew their leases in March, April, May, and June. So if rates are lowered in August or late July, they've kind of missed the boat. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It gets people talking, but a quarter of a point dip is not going to go change the real estate market and get everybody off the couch and ready to go make a move. Rogers, good morning, Mitch Rochelle. One of the things uh, we've observed is that it seems like the I want to rent versus buy is somewhat secular as opposed to cyclical. What you were just talking about seems cyclical, and it seems as though it's secular yeah. that we just don't want to own a home. We're just happy to rent. Is that something you're observing as well? No, I mean, it, it's still the American dream, but and something I started talking about a couple of years ago is the rule of real estate always used to be location, and that used to be what everybody wanted. They wanted to be in the urban core, they wanted to be in the bullseye, but now, really, the rule of real estate has shifted more towards affordability, and that's why you've seen these places, especially in the heartland, on the outskirts, like three or four layers away, those places have thrived, especially right now with, with interest rates. So. People don't want to rent, but there are statistics that say that people are renewing their leases more than they ever have before, which means they're not popping to another rental. Maybe they're going to go and just stay locked in and save some money. But yeah, I, I think everybody at the end of the day wants to own their own property and in commercial real estate as well. But you know, it, it, it's still tough right now to save money with the cost of real estate being so high. Lee? So, Rogers, I have a question. Do you think that any of the slowdown in real estate has to do with the, ability, the people's inability to write off taxes in the same way that they used to? Yeah, and again, the slowdown, it's, it's late summer, and, and this always happens in late summer, and this happens in, in midwinter. People really right now are focusing on preparing for their taxes, they're preparing for their kids to go back to school. They've spent a lot of their money on summer vacations, like July is probably the busiest month of the year for people getting out of town for more than seven or ten days. So this really is a conversation we've had every single year, but at the end of the day, the market is still stable. It's just not as busy as it is in a, in a traditional spring market. Rogers, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Come back soon, you too. Rogers. Thank Healy. you. All. Have a good day. Bye bye.